right outside, right outside St. Louis right now. The snow is coming down hard, baby. We're gonna keep on pushing though. We gotta go to Denver. Sitting up here eating a McDonald's biscuit right now. About to pull out in a minute. I was walking back to my truck. I walked back to my truck from um, from Love's. There's another driver parked behind me on a fuel island. He seen me going to the. He seen me going to my truck. He said, "Man, that's, he said that's you, brother." <clears throat> I said, "Yeah, man, that's me." He said, "I don't know how you do it, man. Drive a flatbed in the winter." I mean, I guess he said that because it's snowing right here. It's snowing pretty bad. It wasn't like this last night. I said the same way you driving in the summertime. You put your foot on the gas. That motherfucker said, I take my hat off to you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man, a lot of people scared of you flatbed. Man, it ain't no problem. As soon as I finish this biscuit, I'm about to go ahead and hit this road. I'm going to show y'all how we do it. situation up here right outside st louis not too far maybe about 7500 miles traffic is stopped y'all see what i'm smoking it's a little little vape little vape pen i got mark 10 that's what it is I bought it at the uh, Loves last night. Put out a good amount of smoke. I charged it up all last night. And I, I feel like it's going dead already. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Y'all know why I'm smoking this? Bam, flammable. That's why. Can't take no chances, drivers. Got these damn flammables on the back. I probably could smoke a cigarette in here, but better safe than sorry. What y'all think about that? 
How many of y'all guys got hazmat and ride with explosives and flammables and still smoke cigarettes on the inside? This is actually my exit right here. Exit, let me see. Exit 160. This is actually my exit for my fuse solution. And I can't even get to it because I don't know what's going on with the highway. I mean, it's, it's bad winter weather out here. So I don't know. I can't even get off on the exit. I put myself off duty. I've been sitting in traffic like 15 minutes now before I even started this video. Let's see if I can get off on this exit. Yeah, I think I need to charge this bag up. They said it's supposed to start flashing when it needs to be charged. And I know it can't be out of nicotine because I just bought it last night. But I did get a coupon um, when I bought this. This thing was this is a Mark 10 menthol. It's about it's about eight bucks. But I did get a coupon that came with it for three dollars off. Uh, a pack of refills and I looked at the refills last night at the truck stop refills are like $8 they come with two refills and the coupon I got like I said is for $3 off so it's a pretty good deal man I can feel I can taste the menthol in here and if I hit it too hard the motherfucker will it will choke me I'm about to follow this other truckers you know what I couldn't see that until now I'm about to get over there Hey Shane, let me hit you right bad, bro. Right. Yeah, y'all see this shit. Y'all see it. White World Part 2. Y'all ever heard a story about the little engine that could? I know you said it if you seen Major Pain. That's what I'm doing. Little engine that could. I'm grinding this shit out, man. I'm running about 55 right now. Speed limit 60 where I'm at. Hey. We're gonna get it done. Take it slow, that's all you gotta do. You big oversized motherfucker taking up the whole goddamn road. I don't know right. if I can get past his ass. God damn. Y'all can't see it yet, but I already see it. Guess who the motherfucker is? The motherfucking belt. Taking up the whole goddamn road. Who is this motherfucker? Let's see. Oh, he in the slip. 
sleeper. Motherfucking devil. Take that whole goddamn road with an oversized load. Flatbed game. What I told y'all in the other video. When you see another melt, you know you in the right place. Old buddy, old pal. Pretty deep out here. It's that big boy shit right here. And it is rough. See what happens when you drive too fast. Perfect. Perfect. Yo, man, I want to go ahead and say this. I want to end this on a good note. I drove about, about 500 miles a day, all the way from Illinois, all the way past Kansas City Perfect. on I-70. No lie when I say this, I seen about 30 trucks turned over in ditches, one hanging off a deep ditch, cliff, whatever it was. I seen one fell off her own ramp down into the whatever lid is down there. Perfect. And out of all these trucks, man, only one of these trucks I seen was from a mega carrier. I seen one CR England. All the rest of these trucks was just y'all, y'all regular guys driving these ungoverned trucks that be hauling up, hauling ass every damn day. Hey, we gotta do better, man. Y'all gotta slow that shit down. It's gonna be to, be to be continued right here. I'm out.